In this cheap Android tablet news video, we're looking at the best 9-inch Android tablets for under $250. The criteria was simple. We looked at 9-inch tablets, or those closest to. The tablets had to be under $250. Phablets were ruled out of contention. This was purely about tablets only. And you had to be able to buy it now, April 2014. In reviewing the tablets across the market, there were three tablets that stood out from the rest. Three. At number three is the FNF i5 X2. FNF have quickly developed a reputation for quality tablets and the X2 reinforces this. The i5 X2 is powered by a Rockchip 3188 quad-core processor with a Mali 400 GPU, 2 gigs of RAM, and features an 8.9 inch screen with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. This equates to a 254 PPI, which is the equivalent of a retina display, meaning you get a vivid picture with crisp color reproduction. The unit comes in white with a magnesium ring around the device for durability and a high gloss plastic back, presumably to assist with Wi-Fi range and reception. In terms of the remaining design features, the X2 has front-facing speakers that deliver good quality stereo sound for gaming and movies. It also has a front and rear camera. The X2 can run between 7 to 8 hours of normal tablet usage at maximum brightness. On the tablet you'll find a physical volume rocker, standard headphone and micro USB jacks, and a micro SD card slot. If you're coming from a 10.1 inch 1280 x 800 device, or especially from a 7 inch 1024 x 600, you'll really notice a difference in image quality due to the higher resolution panel. Wi-Fi is solid, always a watch out for Chinese tablets, and the X2 also has Bluetooth as standard. The FNF i5 X2 can be purchased for around 206 US dollars. Coming in at number 2 is the Pippo M7 Pro. The Pippo M7 Pro has similar specs to the FNF i5 X2. The M7 Pro is powered by a Rockchip 3188 quad-core processor with a Mali 400 GPU. The tablet has 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of ROM, and features an 8.9 inch PLS display with a display resolution of 1920 by 1200, equal to 254 PPI therefore classed as retina display. The 8.9 inch PLS panel produced by Samsung is the key feature for this tablet, with rich vivid colours, great viewing angles and an overall bright sharp display. Performance is smooth across the board, be it for browsing or video playback. The M7 Pro handles all sorts of media formats for playback and the high resolution display means the M7 Pro doesn't scale down full 1080p videos typical of lower resolution tablets. From a design perspective, the M7 Pro uses a mainly plastic body, which may not be to everyone's taste, however the upside is the tablet only weighs in at 470 grams. All the ports, slots and hardware controls sit at the top edge of the device, including an escape button, a power standby key, 2.5mm DC connector, mini HDMI port, micro USB data port, micro USB host port, 3.5mm headphone jack, as well as a micro SD card slot. The M7 Pro has two rear facing stereo speakers, a 2 megapixel front facing camera, and a 5 megapixel rear facing camera. The only potential drawback that may put some people off the M7 Pro is the absence of physical volume rockers. If you can overlook these, the M7 Pro carries a number of attractive additional features including GPS and Bluetooth and a battery life of 8-9 to nine hours of standard usage. The Pippo M7 Pro can be purchased online for around $203. US dollars. One. At number one is the Ramos i9, one of the early Intel tablets to hit the market. Intel has recognised it has been late to the party in the mobile market and has now made its intentions very clear to grow its share in this space. Intel plans to quadruple its position in the tablet market in the next 18 months 
and with tablets like the Ramos i9, you can easily see how this will become reality. The Ramos i9 is driven by an Intel Atom Z2580 dual core CPU with a PowerVR SGX544 MP2 GPU. It has an 8.9 inch Samsung PLS 1920x1200 display with great viewing angles and reproduces vibrant colors. The Ramos i9 has 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal memory. There is also a micro SD slot to expand your memory capability should you desire. From a design perspective, the Ramos i9 features rear stereo speakers, USB charging, a 7000 milliamp battery, and dual cameras with a 2 megapixel front and a 5 megapixel rear. The big highlight of the Ramos i9 is performance. Speed and smoothness are the most commonly used references for the i9. No stutter, no lag, silky smooth. The tablet flies regardless of what you throw at it. There are a couple of factors here that separate the Ramos i9 from the rest of the pack. The Intel CPU, the I.O. speed and the flash memory. From a connectivity perspective, Wi-Fi performance for the Ramos i9 is strong and the tablet has the latest Bluetooth 4.0 for connecting relevant Bluetooth devices. There are a couple of drawbacks for the Ramos i9 to flag. There have been multiple reports of poor mic input volume, so if you're planning on using this tablet for Skype or other such applications, this could be an issue for you. The Ramos i9 does not come with HDMI. If this is an important feature, then the Ramos i9 will not be your tablet. However, if none of these drawbacks are an issue, the Ramos i9 is the pick of the bunch. You can purchase the Ramos i9 for approximately $220 through online resellers. And that wraps up our review of the best 9-inch tablets for under $250. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. Feel free to check out our best 8-inch tablet videos under $200. Otherwise, please like, comment, or click on the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our future cheap Android tablet news videos.